Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today is the RX 5700 series EOL. NVIDIA postponed the RTX 3070 release date, official gaming performance for the 3070, and performance and pricing on AMD's two big Navi GPUs. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, some rumors began surfacing over the last couple days that AMD's RX 5700 series had reached end of life status. Of course, that wouldn't be surprising considering the RX 6000 series is right around the corner. Still, AMD has since made a statement on it. That is, that the 5700 XD has not been discontinued and will be manufactured until at least Q1 of next year. With that said, the original report from Cal Kotlin wasn't all wrong, since the 5700 is apparently only on special order. Basically, AMD is making way for their next-gen cards, but the 5700 XT is still alive and kicking. For now. Now, if you're like many these days, a lot of your shopping is done online. And that's why you need today's sponsor, Honey. The free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them for you when you check out. Simply install Honey for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out on one of the 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up, you click apply coupons, and if it finds working codes, you watch the prices drop. Those of you who've already installed Honey using my link have found over $6,000 in savings. So what are you waiting for? Get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com gamermelt. And a thanks to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Next up for today, NVIDIA has officially postponed the RTX 3070 launch date to October 29th. Now, this is a pretty interesting one because NVIDIA made an official statement on it where they basically claim it has to do with having more cards available at launch. Of course, you may have noticed that the new date just so happens to be the day after AMD is set to announce their RX 6000 series. Really? Of course, I can't say for sure, but this does seem like a load of crap. NVIDIA's RTX 3080 and 3090 are still sold out weeks later, so what will two weeks do? Nothing. They're waiting to see what AMD has, and honestly there's nothing wrong with that, but pretending it has anything to do with more stock is laughable at best. But hey, maybe I'm wrong and somehow two weeks will make a world of a difference. Of course, if you're interested in buying the 3070, I'd still recommend being there within the first second of release. Next up for today, while Nvidia shared the new date of their upcoming 3070, they also gave us official performance numbers. Of course, as always, while these are official, because they're from Nvidia, they're likely more or less best case scenarios. So as always, I suggest waiting for third party reviews. Still, they certainly give us a good idea of the card's performance. As you can see, they benchmark numerous games and professional workloads. It compares the upcoming card to last gen's RTX 2070 and 2080 Ti, with the 2070 used as a reference point. So when it comes to the performance, NVIDIA's new 3070 does not disappoint. In fact, in Blender, it beat the 2070 by a whopping 226%, though obviously that's an outlier. And really, the question is of course gaming, to which the 3070 stayed right around 50% faster than the 2070 and overall a bit faster than the 2080 Ti, though the 2080 Ti did squeeze out a few wins. Overall, the 3070 is definitely shaping up to be a fantastic card for the price. Of course, that's only if you can get one in the half second the cards are actually in stock. Lastly for today, we have a potentially huge leak on the performance and pricing of AMD's upcoming two big nabby GPUs. This time, it comes from Moore's Law is Dead, who's been a bit spotty on leaks in the past, though as always, things change behind the scenes and it really just depends on the leaker giving him information. Here, he suggests something very similar to Igor's lab on the upcoming Big Navi GPU, so I'd argue it has some weight behind it. Still, as always with unnamed sources, it's best to take it with some skepticism. Starting things off, he confirms a few things we already know, like that Navi 21 is the top GPU and it only uses GDDR6. One interesting thing he states is that RDNA1 actually had hardware level bugs that caused the issues with drivers last year. Apparently this time, AMD is holding things back until they have stable drivers. When it comes to the actual performance, Moore's Law claims that AMD's ray tracing is set to be better than Turing, and that they have something that's similar to Nvidia's DLSS. Next, he strongly claims that Navi 21 is comparable to the 3080, and that AMD wasn't impressed with the 3090's performance, though of course, I'm not sure if anyone was. 
He also stated that it's unlikely to win in everything, but it sounds like it'll be close. He claims that Navi 21 comes with between 72 and 80 CUs at between 2.15 and 2.3 gigahertz, which is around what we've seen suggested before. Next, he claims we're looking at a TDP of between 250 and 300 watts, which could be a big difference when compared to the 3080. He also talks about that same 256-bit bus that we've seen many times before. Oh, and he mentioned that he's heard from sources that AMD is using a huge cache. As for price, the league suggests between $549 and $699. Now, obviously that's a big range, but clearly AMD has some wiggle room here. Next is the cut down version, so similar to the 5700 versus the 5700 XT. Apparently this is planned to come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and between 60 and 72 CUs at between 2.15 and 2.3 gigahertz. According to him, we're looking at above the 3070's performance and for between $449 and $599. Now I will say he went over more, but he claims most of it was speculation. At the end of the day, if these are right, AMD's RX 6000 series looks to be a true contender to Nvidia's Ampere. And if AMD can actually keep them in stock, they could have a huge win here. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's RX 6000 series or do you think you'll be let down? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.